welcome to the vortex. Today's topic is going to be 10 horror films which were made in just one room. So, number one, Buried, from 2010. Get ready to hold your breath as you follow the intense journey of a man buried alive in a coffin. Not nice, is it? The entire movie was shot in just 17 days inside a coffin, and actor Ryan Reynolds had to overcome his actual fear of confined spaces to play the lead role. Huh, that's strange. What? Is this room smaller than it should be? You're the first person to notice. No one from our office had the slightest idea. It's called a panic room. What? A safe room. Castle keep in medieval times. Four concrete walls, buried phone line not connected to the house's main line. They have your own ventilation system and a bank of surveillance monitors that covers nearly every corner of the house. What's to keep someone from prying open the door? Steel. Very thick steel. My room. Definitely, Myra. The second one. It's The Panic Room from uh, 2002. For that one, you are joining a mother and daughter in their high tech panic room as they outsmart their best. Trivia The panic room set was built to be completely functional and it cost around $30 million to create for the film. あなたたち何者ですか？リポーターが集まって、さらに大きなリポーターになっていく。自分は公民に。大人は嫌いだ。必ずここ出る。会社役員やってます。The third one, Q, from 1997. Prefer for a mind-bending experience as a group of people navigate deadly mystery rooms. Trivia, the film's minimalist set design and low budget give it a unique and this gritty charm. Velco is a non-profit organization that facilitates American companies in South America. Employees, lend me your full attention. Hey, it's Jesus. Your chance of survival increases by following my orders. Your task is simply this. Kill three of your co-workers, or we will kill six others. Hey, all the lines are dead. We need to evacuate the floor. Thank you, come on, it's a joke, man. Number four. The Belgo Experiment from 2016. Office politics takes a deadly turn when employees are trapped in their workplace. Trivia. The film was written and produced by James Gunn, known for his work on Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, a bit of a different genre there, isn't it? Many highly qualified candidates have tried to reach this point and failed. You have succeeded. And now the final stage lies before you. If you try to communicate with myself or the guard, you will be disqualified. If you spoil your paper intentionally or accidentally, you will be disqualified. If you choose to leave this room for any reason, you will be disqualified. Begin. Number five, the exam. Join job candidates as they face a life-altering exam inside a locked room. Who suddenly knows A levels, you know, C. Fun fact, the characters in the film are identified by numbers rather than names, adding to the whole sense of anonymity and the suspense. Amir is bringing Laurie to dinner. Amir is a total jackass. 
Everyone else still not have service? No. I got zero. No. On the news, you know, they're talking about the comet. Yeah, yeah. Miller's comet. After it passed, people get lost. They would end up in the wrong home. Wow. And they keep telling people that this can happen. The chicken tastes like right. tuna. It must be <laughs> Miller's comet. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, Coherence, 2013. A dinner party turns into a mind-bending experience. Strange occurrences unfold. The film was shot in just five nights and used improvisational techniques to create a sense of reality. Ready for your new house? This is a new beginning. Number seven, Hello? The Disappointments Room, 2016. Explore the dark secrets of a hidden room in a rural home. And you know what's really creepy about it? This film is based on the concept of Disappointments Room, and it's a real architectural feature in old houses used to hide away family members with physical or mental illnesses. Not very nice. Hello? Hello? Number 8. The Circle, 2017. A group of people must solve puzzles to escape a room with a deadly device. Trivia? The film's director, James Ponsold, is known for his work on The Spectacular Now and the end of Help! number nine frozen 2010 witness the struggle of three friends stuck on a ski lift in brutal winter setting the film's writer and director adam green was actually inspired to create that story after hearing about a real-life ski lift accident. And the last one, which is number 10, The Hateful Eight from 2015. It's Quentin's Tarantino Western thriller unfolds in a cabin during a snowstorm. Trivia. Tarantino's love for 70mm film led to a limited roadshow release of the movie, which included an overture and intermission reminiscence of classic cinema. So guys, these thrilling and quite unique films prove that even in limited settings, its horror can still be incredibly gripping and full of surprises. I won't even find out subscribe or not. Bye-bye! <laughs>